G'day guys, I'm Lane from Trackabout. We're gonna spend a bit of time looking over our new extender tour, how it sets up, a couple of the features we can fit to it for you, how the kitchen works and the inside bedding as well. First up, we're gonna have a look at a few of the features on our Safari extender. This trailer here has been one of our best sellers for many years and we've redesigned how the tent works on top of it. Like all our trailers, it's all based on a hot dip galvanized chassis. We've got our three and a half ton fully off-road hitch up the front here, our stone protection with mud flaps, which protect underneath the trailer, the stone guard here is designed to shoot the rocks back into the road and away from the back of the tow vehicle. This one here has also been fitted with our four bike ISI rack. This one sits up nice and high, which allows easy access to your toolbox. It's not hanging off the back, which means you have to unload the bikes every time you want to access your trailer. Underneath here, we've also fitted with our stainless steel outboard loader. This unlocks and then pivots down into an easy to load position and then locks back up. It's tucked in behind the stone guard, so it protects the motor, but it's also up the front of the trailer, which is the most steadiest part. Up the front of the trailer, we've got our aluminium toolbox. This allows for plenty more storage up the front of the trailer, but it also houses your hot water and power management systems. This particular trailer has been fitted with our Webasto fully ducted heating and hot water service. That's hot water through to your kitchen, through to your ensuite mixer tap, and ducted heating inside the main tent area. Underneath there, we've also got our battery management system. For this trailer, we've chosen to go with the Red Arc Manager 30. It's a 30 amp DC-DC charger, which will supply 30 amps of power through to your batteries whenever your car's running. It'll also be a mains charger, which allows you to plug in generators at a caravan park or just a maintenance charge when you leave your trailer at home. And it's also a solar regulator for when you're off the grid, it allows you to supply power to the two standard onboard 120 amp AGM deep cycle batteries. It's all housed under this convenient tray under here, which adds to storage. On the side of the toolbox, we've got our waterproof and dustproof vent. This snaps open to allow ventilation for your basto, but also somewhere to run your power leads through. Underneath here, you've got your mixer tap, so you can set the temperature for your showers, lock the tap off, and then you've just got an on-off switch inside the ensuite. Next to this is your ensuite outlet and also the optional creek suction. So this allows you to have limitless showers, wash the car down, wash the dog when you're out on your adventures. As long as you've got an external water source nearby, this will be plumbed through to your trailer. Being based on our ever-popular Safari extender model, this one here features the walk-up area. This door drops down and gives you access to your clothing drawers inside. This can be accessed with the camper packed down, so on Friday afternoon, drop the door, fill it up with your clothes, pack it up and away you go. As with all our trailers, the importance of durability is a key point of our concern. Every single one of our trailers is laser cut, bent into shape, welded up by a team of welders and then hand sealed inside and out. This stops any water or dust ingress, but also stops any future rust issues. Every single hole that's on this trailer is either laser cut or drilled in before the powder coating process, and that means that this powder coating is inside every single rivet hole, which will stop any rust. The mudguard box here is a great place to store any dirty items. It's lockable, so you can put your expensive recovery gear in there, but it's also easy to access on the side of the road when you really need it. Out the back of our trailer, we've got the spare wheel, which is mounted to the greaseball tailgate, which is designed to take the weight of the spare wheel off-road. Every opening on this trailer is sealed with automotive pinch weld seal and lockable latches. Underneath here, we've got drop-down stabilizer legs and recovery points welded into the chassis. On the driver's side of the trailer, we've got our rear filler point for our 85 litre water tank and the hand pump that's plumbed up directly to it. We've also got two lockable four and a half kilo gas bottle holders, a mud guard box for added storage. This trailer has also been fitted with a secondary 85 litre water tank. So we've got the second filler point and the second outlet for it. The tanks are designed to work with changeover valves. So if you want to run them both together or separately, the choice is up to you when you're on your adventures. On every leading edge of our trailer, we've got stainless steel stone protection. That is riveted on as a sacrificial item. It's designed to last, but it's also designed to make the trailer look like new and protect the powder coating paint. Self-sufficiency is the key when you're on your adventures. So we've got four 20 litre jerry can holders on our Safari extender, and also a bit of added storage here in the pole box as well. All our trailers feature Australian made suspension. As standard, we run the Nine Leaf Elko Outback Rebound suspension, but this one here has been fitted with our vehicle components, two ton independent suspension. It's a quad shock design that allows for a little bit extra ground clearance and a softer ride over the harsh terrain. This one here has got the wheels and tires to match a tow vehicle and we can do that to your car as well. It allows you to have interchangeable spares, which means if worse comes to worse, you can take a spare off the trailer and put it onto your car and get you out of trouble. The underbody of the trailer is a fully hot dip galvanized chassis. It's stone resistant and also rust resistant. It holds up a lot better than your painted and coated chassis. Mounted inside that is our water tanks. They're tucked up into the body for a lower center of gravity, but higher ground clearance. Housing those is a custom made bash plate. That protects any vulnerable plumbing and electrical lines coming out of the side of the tanks, as well as anywhere else on the trailer. We believe that an off-road trailer is more than just big wheels and tires. 
We've also fitted this trailer with our boat rack. We call it a boat rack, but really it's an anything rack. You can put your tinny up there, put your firewood, your swags, your toolboxes, your roof rack bags, surfboards, it doesn't matter. It'll set up there, flip it out of the way, and then set your tent up like it's not even there. It just means you're not unloading every time you get to camp. It's locked in with a custom-built cam mechanism, which takes any rattle out of it over corrugated roads. It's also got a big gas strut on the front, which helps assist with the lifting. Righto guys, we're around the side of the trailer now, and the whole emphasis of this model is quick comfort. As you can see, it's got gas struts that support the tent, which really make for a quick setup time. A nice big drop down screen in the open plan living. That has a big window in it. As with all the windows around the camper, they're level with the bed with canvas flaps on the inside, which means you don't have to go outside in a storm to close it up. With all our extender models, we've also got the great big walk up step at the front. That provides easy access in and out of bed, but also houses the four built in drawers for your clothes, a big storage void, which you can access with the camper trailer packed down, or it makes for easy access in and out of bed at campsite. That also houses our ducted heating unit, and that recirculates hot air inside the camper area, thanks to the diesel unit we've fitted inside the front toolbox. Another great feature is the walk-up step light. It's a swivel light that operates at 180 degrees and also supplies light to the step or at the foot of your bed when you're set up. Another great feature we've got is the track about TV setup. This comes in a custom-made padded bag that takes your TV in transit. It also comes with a 12-volt outlet in the walk-up, a 21 and a half inch screen TV with a DVD player and a custom made pole clamp which allows you to clamp it either at the foot of the bed or on any pole around the trailer. Check out how this works. Inside the main bed area we've got a nice big queen size mattress. We've also fitted this one with our bed head fans and lights setup, which provides great personal lighting if you want to sit up in bed and read a book, but the fans are also great in those summer months for an extra bit of ventilation. Flexible lighting kit above me supplies enough light for the whole campsite. It plugs into our bedside power, which is a Nava cigarette socket and dual USB. Another great feature on the side of the trailer is our lockable mudguard toolbox. It's a great place to store your valuables when you're going for a hike through the bush or for a surf at the beach. Out the back of our trailer, we've got our gourmet kitchen. All our trailers come standard with a 60 litre Evercool fridge freezer, and that's built to track about specs with the stainless steel latches and the Danfoss compressor. We've got Smev appliances in the kitchen here. Standard is the two burner, we've upgraded this one with a third burner for a bit of extra space. The Smev stainless steel sink comes with running water and an integrated waste pipe as well. As far as storage goes, you won't fall short on your track about kitchen. We've got an integrated cutlery drawer, a place for all your plates and your bowls, and another drawer here for all your glasses and your mugs. The focus on storage and weight, we've decided to go with an aluminium composite kitchen. It features a lightweight aluminium chassis cladded with composite panelling. Beauty of that is it allows us to have a massive kitchen with not too much weight. A kitchen of this side built of stainless steel would be worried about spot welds and fracturing over rough terrain. This one provides all the storage you need and all the bench space. This is our easy to access pantry. It features a small condiment straw on top and a deeper pots and pans straw below that. Pull this out a little bit, it gives you a bit of extra bench space, and then it slides out all the way for a 450 litre slide out pantry. One of the things we see a lot of is camp kitchens with no bench space. You don't want to be chopping your vegetables and lifting up your fridge to grab more stuff out. What we've done here is feature the kitchen return bench. It folds out in a matter of seconds, so it's perfect for roadside stops, but it's also a great place to make your sundown drinks when you set up at your beautiful campsite. It has two very usable positions. This one here is our L-shaped kitchen return, but we can also extend it straight out from the kitchen and it's a great place to put your barbecue. As you can see, I do a lot of cooking on my Weber. And one of the features I love about this is the additional gas outlet. It comes with a quick connect fitting on the onboard gas and a four meter braided gas hose, which I connect straight up to my Weber. It means I'm not getting gas bottles out when I'm at camp. I put my Weber on the return bench. I'm not under my awning, so I'm not smoking out with my roast. At Trackabout, we believe things should be easy to use. The easier it is to use, the more likely you are to use it. With that in mind, we've kept our fridge in the kitchen where it belongs, not in the front toolbox like you see in a lot of other campers. Stove and sink are easy to access with quick connect plumbing lines for them. You've also got all your cutlery drawers and all your pantry in the one spot. You're not walking around the camper every time you're trying to cook a meal. One of the key features of the Touring Series is the modular wall system. It basically means you can set up camp as much or as little as you want. Check out how these walls work. As you can see, you can set up as many walls as you want. Right now, we've just got it set up to enclose the living area in here so you can put your tables and chairs, but still have the grass or the sand down on the floor. 
As you can see, we've fitted all the included walls now. You've got a zip-in bucket style floor, and it looks exactly like our larger extender inside. It's a seven by nine foot tent, fully screened to keep all the mozzies out, and nice big canvas and mesh doors as well. Thanks very much for looking over our new touring series. We're super excited to have this model released now, and as you can see, it's really changed the way people camp. As you've seen, we can do pretty much any options you can imagine. Jump on our website, www.trackabout.com, jump on the build your own trailer section and build your dream camper.